So Christmas traditions have changed and disappeared over the last 100 years due to new technology and new ideas. And now traditions are so different that looking back at some of the old ones may seem unfamiliar and even shocking to you. So here are five Christmas traditions from the 1950s that we no longer do. Number one, the aluminum Christmas tree. The aluminum tree named the silver pine sold in 1955 by Modern Coatings Incorporated of Chicago. The silver pine became such a hit among households for its very modern and space age appearance. These trees didn't need a string of lights as the reflection of the tree itself would shift in a kaleidoscope of color that came with a floodlight and a rotating color wheel. It wasn't until the hit cartoon film A Charlie Brown Christmas, which premiered in 1965, killed off this trend with satire. We need a Christmas tree. Hey, perhaps a tree. A great, big, shiny aluminum Christmas tree. Number two, bubble lights. Before the small fairy lights that we have today, the 1950s had bubble lights, sold by a company named Noma, which were sealed glass tubes with a colored bubbling liquid inside that lit up in different colors like blue, yellow, red, and green. Number three, the dreaded Jello everything. Through the holidays, especially Christmas, mixing food into Jello was very popular. Jello cakes, Jello meat pies, Jello salad, Jello shrimp. Pretty much any food you can think of was suspended inside of Jello. Horrifying, I know. In the early 1950s, refrigerators were still quite expensive and gelatin needs refrigeration in order to set. So, preparing a Jello dish was something of a status symbol that was often brought to or prepared for a holiday party. Number four. Listening to the radio. Although TVs were around in the 1950s, most families still depended on the radio for entertainment. Through the holidays, families would gather around the tree and fireplace and listen to not only music, but also charming Christmas stories told by professional voice actors live on the radio. Let's take a listen to a recording I have of the Aldridge Family Christmas, which aired in 1952. The holiday season is always the wide-eyed time of the year for a typical teenage boy. But no matter how wide open his eyes are, he's almost certain to walk right smack into some assorted troubles, especially if he's like Henry Aldrich. The scene opens at the Aldrich breakfast table. The time is morning. Sam, did we send the Whitmores a card? The Whitmores? Who are the Whitmores? Well, don't you remember? We met them on the train coming back from Chicago. You mean that trip we took way back in 1946? Yes. And they're still sending us cards? Every Christmas. Naturally, we ought to send them one. Henry, are you going to Nancy Adams' party tonight? What's that, Mary? The party tonight. Are you going? Well, well, I'll tell you, Mary. Henry, Nancy isn't giving a party on Christmas Eve, is she? Well, in a way, she's giving it on Christmas Eve. What do you mean, in a way, she is? Well, Father, I hope you don't think I'm going to walk out of my whole family tonight. You don't have to worry about that. You mean you're not going, Henry? Mary, do you have to pin your own brother down like that? So I'm just going for a little while. Number five, Christmas cards. Now, we definitely still use Christmas cards to this day, but not in the same way. Nowadays, we use it to simply wish someone a happy holiday and often stick the card in a gift. In the 1950s, people would fill the card with details about themselves, updating them on new things in their life, and then they would finalize the card with a follow-up question for the other person before they would send the card through the mail. Then the person who receives it would reply with a Christmas card included with details about what's new in their life, kind of like the old-school version of emailing. So which one of these traditions do you find the most surprising? Comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to find out more about your favorite decades.